Hello and welcome back to Whiskey Wars. My name is Sean and tonight we'll be reviewing Cooper's Craft Barrel Reserve 100 proof. Let's get into it. So here is our bottle for this evening, Cooper's Craft 100 proof. And uh, this has become a more and more beloved bottle recently, as some of you may know. Uh, early Times is in the midst of changing. Uh, they've been bought up by Sazerac and now uh, 1792 is kind of taking control of that. Now, 1792 says that they haven't changed anything yet, uh, but I've had uh, some of the newer bottles and my palate says otherwise, but we could dispute that all day long. But let's talk about this bottle. Now, a Cooper's Craft uh, is named after the Cooperage, the Brown Foreman Cooperage, which of course is really old forester history. And so for those of you that don't know, uh, George Garvin Brown, he is the founder of Old Forester, along with his uh, half-brother, GTS Brown. They started Old, Old Forester way back when, and then, of course, that became Brown Foreman later on. George Garvin's Brown goal, anyway, was to make a high-quality whiskey, and that's kind of always been their goal, and they still kind of hold to those high standards today. And I think that, in general, Old Forester puts out pretty good products, especially for the price range that they're in. Some special things about Cooper's Craft. Cooper's Craft Barrel Reserve takes its very distinctive flavor from barrels that have post-char chiseled interiors. This deepens the whiskey's wood exposure, creating a robust taste profile. So they chisel the barrels after they've been charred to create more surface area in the barrel, thus exposing the whiskey to more of the charred oak. And uh, they're really proud of that because it says it there and then it says it down here again, chiseled and charred. And then it's also on the back as well. They talk about the chiseling. So they're really proud of that. Uh, but let's see how much of a difference that makes because this is similar juice to like Old Forester 100 or early times bottle and bond. So let's get some poured here and see how different it is. Now, Brown Foreman, in general tends to be one of my favorite distillers. I'm always happy with Brown Foreman products, uh, as I said earlier, especially for the price. They're just a great budget option, very hard to beat. So let's see if that holds true in this glass here. Let's get into the nose first. And so right away, you know this is Brown Foreman. And just that really pleasant kind of banana bread, brown sugar note. A uh, nice cinnamon note in, in there as well. Definitely some peppery notes, some nice charred oak notes as well. There's a very nice kind of like creamy vanilla that you're picking up. Like, like a whipping cream, really. And there's like hints of citrus in there. Actually, the more I think about it, the more, the more it's more like a strawberry. So kind of citrus-esque. I guess, you know, because, you, you know, you get this kind of the citric acid and the strawberry. But it's, it's sweeter than that and more fruity. You almost like a strawberry jam note in there as well. That would be one epic banana bread. If you had strawberries, bananas, brown sugar, caramel, and cinnamon all mixed into a banana bread, that would be quite a banana bread, especially topped with like a whipped cream. That sounds awesome. Somebody should start making that. Let's get into the taste though. Man, the mouthfeel on that is excellent. Uh, just silky, velvety, kind of caramel brown sugars. I mean, it, it feels like you're eating caramel. Uh, it's very viscous in the mouth, just very mouth coating, uh, just really pleasant. And then for the notes, you're getting the caramel, you're getting the brown sugar. I also picked up like a coffee note in there and maybe also like, a, almost like a Coca-Cola note. There's also kind of some chocolatey notes in there as well. And you are definitely getting that vanilla and you are, you are getting some of those darker fruits. I don't know if you're necessarily getting strawberry on the palate, but uh, maybe like a plum in there also. And uh, I would say also something like, uh, I know I say roasted dates a lot, but it, there's so many bourbons that remind me of that. And I'm kind of getting that here as well. Now let's go in for one more sip. This is a really enjoyable whiskey, so. All right, so on that sip, now I finally got kind of those strawberry jam notes. If, if you folks have ever had kind of like one of those mixed jams where it's multiple different berries, 
you know, kind of like a blackberry, a strawberry, a raspberry, and maybe a grape all mixed together. It kind of reminds me of that. That's kind of what you're getting, kind of like a mixed berry jam. Uh, very nice, though. Um, yeah, just everything about this uh, whiskey experience is, is excellent, and especially considering this is like a $30 bottle. Uh, very hard to beat. Now, of course, as you folks know, we're kind of doing a 30-ish dollar theme here lately, and this is definitely in that category. And let's go for one more final sip here, just because I'm enjoying it so much, and uh, really focus on the finish. Man, so that finish is just excellent, and the, that's really where the kind of multi-berry jam kind of flavor really shows up. It's on the finish, and it's still going. Uh, I, I still got it going on uh, a good 10, 20 seconds later. Uh, yeah, it's, it's just going and going. I, I would say this is a medium to long-ish finish considering the price range we're in and just really excellent. Uh, you you kind of get the darker notes up front on the kind of the mid palette and then as it goes uh, down kind of going towards the finish then you start to really get those berry notes and more kind of jammy fruity notes in there and I, so it, it kind of changes as it moves over your palate and just it's, it's a very interesting whiskey and I would say one of the better in the kind of $30 price range. So folks, if you've never tried it, I definitely recommend it. As far as a score goes, I think I have to rate this the highest so far in the $30 price range. I'm gonna go ahead and say an 8.3. I think this bottle is excellent. Uh, so again, if you haven't tried it, go out and try it for yourselves. And we'd love to hear what you guys think. So please feel free to leave your thoughts down in the comments. And uh, folks, just one thing real quick, we do have a Patreon. So if you guys want to support the channel, if you appreciate what we're doing, then please feel free to uh, do that through Patreon. Uh, you can sign up for as little as $2 a month if you like, and we have plans going up much higher. And uh, on the higher tier plans, you can get free samples from me. I will ship free samples straight to your door. So uh, just something to keep in mind. There's also, uh, depending on the tier, you can also request videos uh, if you are into that tier and several other things there. I'm trying to build a community there. So uh, please check out our Patreon. The link is down in the description. And I would really love to see more folks on there. Really appreciate all the love that I've seen from the community. And uh, lastly, folks, if you've enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more reviews like this, you can click right here. And if you are really enjoying the channel, then you can subscribe right here. Until next time, folks, just remember, you can never have too much good whiskey.